Listen up and don't mess up when choosing your skills in the early game. This is part 2 of our skill guide. There are 4 important things to consider early game. Cooldown, damage, ring effects, and how long the skill takes to fully resolve. Basically click onto a skill and look at the skill's damage. Generally you want to go for the largest number with the shortest cooldown. Some skills do however have multiple effects like pyrokinesis bringing down 6 hits. So you multiply this by the skills base damage to find your overall damage result. Essentially once you have the total skill damage divided by the cooldown seconds and you end up getting a rough estimate of how much damage you should expect per second. Be sure to do this for each skill I mention, as your skill levels do heavily affect how much damage they'll be dealing. But there is one thing you have to consider, it's how long the skill takes to fully resolve. This means the time it takes from activation to complete the skill animation and effect. Watch this, we have Bat Bombardier with a cooldown of 10 seconds and Detonative Slime with a cooldown of 12 seconds. On paper, Bat Bombardier deals a total of 58,000% damage in 10 seconds, while Detonative Slime deals 59,500 500% damage in 12 seconds, but that a native slime deals more damage over time because Bat Bombardier must send out 17 attacks to fully finish. If you watch this clip carefully, you can see that a native slime is refreshing far faster and in turn dealing more damage per second as it has an increased amount of skill casts. Always use Rage and Coin Toss as their relics are easy to acquire and are skills I still use in late game. If you have Ancient Bonsai unlocked, use Reaper as your base skill with Rage and Coin Toss. Now for your other 3 skills, go with the method I mentioned earlier, cooldown, skill damage, ring effects, and how long the skill takes to activate should be your considerations. Early game Detonative Slime is a top tier skill as it deals extremely high damage and it synergizes with B-class rings that you'll likely have equipped. You should always try to equip the skill that your ring boosts and synergizes with. In mid game Pyrokinesis is another skill you should be using without a doubt as it is just as strong as any mythic spell. Meteor Swarm is another early game AoE skill with high damage as it dishes out 8 separate attacks with a low cooldown, Evil Spirit will potentially help you if you don't lock the HP to use Pearl Necklace instead of Sacred Necklace to amplify its damage. And very early on, Lightning Strikes was one of my favorites as it does dish out fast and consistent damage. Now as I've mentioned before in part 1, which I recommend you checking out, skills hardly make a difference to your damage overall, just use your highest damage dealing skills. But I will have a future part 3 to the series for Slime Legion and which skills you should be using. If you have any questions, comment below as I reply to every comment. And if this helped, please subscribe and like the video.